Welcome back on to page six. Apparently it is time to eat babies. This is the new solution to climate change for the radical left. During a town hall meeting by none other than our very beloved AOC, the outrageous and downright disgusting topic of eating babies was discussed. Don't believe me? Take a look. Climate crisis. We only have a few months left. I love that you support the Green Deal, but it's not getting, you know, getting rid of fossil fuel is not going to solve the problem fast enough. So I think your next uh, campaign slogan has to be this. We got to start eating babies. We don't have enough time. There's too much CO2. All of you, you're, you, you know, you're a pollutant. Too much CO2. We have to start now, please. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, thank you for being with us. Of course. All right, now during the town hall, Ocasio-Cortez didn't actually reject the woman's comments to eat babies. So is that suggesting that her radical rhetoric is actually acceptable? Well, it turns out today that uh, that whole thing may have been a setup, but ironically, what it points out is nothing and no one can out crazy AOC. She is still riding high in national recognition, having put out a proposal to ban cows and cars and planes and fuel and home heating, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It is the dumbest, most unthought provoking proposal in American political history and yet they still give her a microphone and she's still on the national press every day. And when you have an insane proposal like let's eat the babies, it's the only way to save the planet, AOC reacts like it's a normal talking point. And she actually ended her response to the lady suggesting Medicare for all is the solution. Um, I think the takeaway from this episode, as unfortunate as it was, is quite frankly, Everything that comes out of this congresswoman's mouth is borderline nutty or completely nutty. And we ought to just leave her alone and let the microphones get turned off. The more she talks, the worse she sounds. And actually, quite frankly, the worse she does in the polls. But she doesn't seem to pay much attention to her polling numbers. Well, and actually, it seems like a good strategy would be leave the microphone on. Let her do her work for us. Uh, so what do you think this is going to do for the Democratic <laughs> Party as a whole? And what's it going to do for the future of the party when the American public sees videos like this? I think the best thing conservatives can do, as you said, is leave the microphone on. AOC is the gift that keeps on giving. If I was consulting with her opponent, uh, of which there are half a dozen trying to get both into the primaries, to primary her on the Democrat side and the Republican to go after her in the general, uh, in November 2020 is let her talk as much as possible, publicize everything she says, and you don't even need a response, just let her talk. The problem, as you point out, is for Democrat leadership to make sure the rest of the country knows that this woman is not leading on policy creation. That's Pelosi's problem with the squad. The squad says really radical, unacceptable, non-mainstream things all the time. The proposals are mostly nonsensical. And what you end up with is like Amazon coming to New York, willing to invest billions, willing to create thousands and thousands of new jobs. And what happened? AOC killed it. Well, all the thousands of people that were in the process of applying for Amazon jobs, get this, paying well over $100,000 a year, have no jobs. They will remember that at the polls. And that is what the National Democratic leadership is worried about. If this is the leader of the party, if this is where the proposals are coming from, if this is the new direction far off the left side of the planet until you fall into the abyss, the Dems are in trouble in 2020. And that's why she's getting less and less national inclusion and is going to be basically uh, doing her own thing where she has a nice conversation with the lady that suggests baby eating as a solution to climate change. I mean, to entertain a discussion like that proves where this lady is coming from. She is completely disconnected from American political reality. All right, we've got about 30 seconds left. 
Uh, so keep this short, but climate change is obviously, we're getting back to that, a major theme for the coming presidential election. Why do you think it's getting so much attention right now? Well, because the Dems are pounding on it with a lot of fake made up studies and the closer we get to the election i think you're going to start seeing the other side there's just as many scientists on the other side it says yeah the climate changes constantly it's always been changing but is it changing because of man's presence or just as a coincidence and because it's not science fact it's science theory on both sides the best thing the dems can do is go back to social issues like insurance and jobs and a security for the country and so on and get away from the radical stuff or what's gonna happen, the middle is gonna move away from them and it will cost the Democrats the election in 2020. Possibly All right, Barry, I'm gonna have to wrap you up there, but thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on our show.